you know, we um, got pregnant again. We were so happy, but then it was, and, you know, 10 weeks later, the same story went and there was no heartbeat. It's Channel Mom with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. I want to give you a poignant moment where you had an effect in my life as a singer, Christy. I had a miscarriage between my two babies. And my son was born, and then a couple years later, I had a miscarriage. And I remember standing in a dark driveway in Bailey, Colorado, in anguish over the fact that I'd lost a baby. And a girlfriend who was in a Bible study with me said, hold on a second, I have just the song for you. Mm-hmm. And it makes me want to cry. And she was in the, song, in the car. She put in your song, Glory Baby. She turned it up. Mm-hmm. And I sat there in the dark and listened to your story. And it made me feel better. And it made me mm-hmm. feel heard and understood. And like it was going to be okay because God had it. Mm-hmm. So tell us why you wrote that song. I know it's older, but tell us about it. Well, when we first started uh, trying to have a family, we had two miscarriages um, back to back. This was in 99. And um, in between those two, I kind of remember I started just to sing the song, just the first line, um, Glory Baby, You Slipped Away As Fast As We Could Say Baby. And that was about as far as I could get. And I was just kind of shut down my heart and was like, I can't go there. It's too painful. I can't write a song. That's just, that's like excruciating. Mm -hmm. But I kind of kept humming this thing and just, you know, giving my heart to the Lord, obviously, in such a um, painful time. I mean, Nathan and I have been married about five years. Uh, You know, you're still learning to communicate in that, you know, time of being married and you know, even in your first seven or eight years. and But to learn to grieve together was this whole other thing. And um, I always say, you know, to breathe in deep when sorrow is near, because that means God is near, because His Word says that He's near to the brokenhearted. And I can testify to that, because in our deepest sorrow, you know, we uh, got pregnant again. We were so happy, but then it was, and, you know, 10 weeks later, the same story went and there was no heartbeat and um we were just devastated and plus kind of um fearful too like is there something wrong with me why can't i am i ever going to be able to have kids and um and then the song just kept pressing in on my heart and i knew that really just as an act of obedience that i needed to write this song and it be um kind of serve as um a marker, you know, or like a memorial to those babies. And that's why we named it Glory Baby. But it was a song of hope, really. Yes, it was. Um, Because you you want so much to know that in those moments, you know, that's when you really start going, okay, is this eternity thing real? Yes. You know, because I really long to see that child. And then it makes you go, I, I long for something more than just this earth. And this earth has you know, doesn't have everything for me. And that's when you start going, am I really made for something more? I think I'm made for something more. And so all those things begin to happen. And when you are in your, you know, deepest moments of sorrow and, and God is very near in those moments. And that's what ended up happening. We finished this song and ended up, we were on a tour um, that was an 80 city tour that year. And I know that God meant for that because we sang it every night and shared our story and, it, I still, not a, not a time goes by that I stand in the line to greet people that I don't get at least five women or six women who come up in tears and share a story like you just did of how God just took that song and um, put it in the hands and the hearts of people that needed it, you know, in just the right moment. And I'm just so blown away how He still uses that, and it still makes me really emotional thinking about it all but yeah.